Cool. We are live. Um, yeah, cool. So, Magic the Gathering. Gathering the Magicking. Um, I feel like I just run this back again. It's just not enough data to say good or bad. Uh, things I've been considering are like a scavenging ooze. Um... Not loving Thorn, but I don't know what else I would try. It's not bad, you know. It's just like, is this better as an example? Um, damage is good. Yo, Dirk. Uh, yeah, let's, let's switch. Thorn with Maddening X. Try that today. Um, but yeah, things are, things are going okay. Uh, you know, I, I knew I was going to be playing a little bit less, which is fine, but, um, and I don't feel out of practice as much as I feel like out of the no when I get paired. I'd say that's like the biggest thing that's kind of bothering me is like, um, if you don't play three, four times a week and you don't like spend a lot of time on goldfish, like MTG goldfish, like looking up decks and like checking them out. No shit. Hey, CCD smash. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, you start to like lose like what the new tech is, you know, what, what, what is, what is a tempo deck at the moment? What is Rug playing? Um, yeah, I hear you, Dirk. I'm still into it. Like, I'd say, like, I'm happy to play, uh, you know, two, three times a week, I think is about right for me at this point in life. Um, would I like to play more? Yes, but... I kind of feel like there are times in my life where I'm just Jones in the play and I'm like super excited and I'm like, Oh, you know, I have all these ideas. And when I'm home, I'm like thinking like, what do I change to my deck? What's new? I have like five deck lists that I'm like constantly tweaking. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Things just change rapidly. Um, I'm trying to get like a, a certification right now for uh, like a Google certification for like data engineering, you know, and it's like, I feel like a little guilty playing today, but I think I earned it. So I'm going to do it. Um, we're going to play the same stupid deck on the same stupid channel. Oh, data engineering. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm already a data analyst. Um, and I do a lot of, uh, things with like data visualizations. Um, but I think what I'm learning is like when somebody has like a small data set, like, you know, just like a few Excel files, that's what I'm used to working with. Data engineering seems like with like big data and like companies that are already really mature, like Uber and stuff like that. Like if you want to get in those companies, their data sets are huge and you want to start using tools that align with it. And, uh, you know, there's like the Google suite, like Microsoft has like a whole suite, you know, it's like, there's all these different components and moving parts and, uh, just opted to go with Google because it was on Coursera and I pay for Coursera. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, the labs, I don't love the labs for the course, but the subject matter is very interesting. Yeah. 
I, I think you're right, CCD Smash. There's definitely... And I, I love Twitch, too. Like, I really like streaming, talking to people. It's, like, one of the only social outlets that I have at this point. Um, all right. Diva's good. Um, oh. This is hand. Not great hand, but it is hand. Ooh, this is lands. Interesting. The punish here is getting wasted off my only white source. I don't think I want to drop the soul guide yet. And I think just throwing a wasteland out, it's too risky. Oh, holy shit. That is a crazy work. Dang, friend. Okay, I think I made the right choice. A most fortuitous outcome. They do have the maze. Drop that. Um. Yeah, I think it could be taught entirely online. At least so far. That's the impression I have. If you're ever interested, hit me on Discord. I can show you the course. That way you don't have to, like, pay for it or something if you're not sure. They did tap the maze here. Hmm. I don't think I play scared here. Uh, this is tough. Um, okay. We are going to play scared here. <laughs> uh, I'll get the white, red, green, this. And then that way if they have a crop rotation, I don't ditch. Excellent. Cool. Yeah. Oh, you're in that Discord? Are you in the same one I'm in? Feeling very good about this game. Um,
Hey, I got it in a glass today. How's it going, Kevin? So I think I just hang back and try not to dedge. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're drinking from a glass today. Hey, Wendy. How's it going? I think I get a saga? Yeah, we do. Hmm. A little bit of a weird stitch. I think I have one more tiger to fetch. I don't want to overthink this. I think we just hit the maze here. And I, I feel like I could, I could go all night just like agonizing about the right line here, but I, I think I just gotta, I gotta just do it. Now they're agonizing about the right line. I am not going to attack with that knight of the relic quarry, though. I tell you what. I think these two is fine, though. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Hey, Jeremy. It's a good question. There it is. It's a good sound light. Yo, Ben. All right, I got you, bud. All right. Nirvana, cool. And some old dirty bastard. All right, we're 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 we're, we're well rounded here. Got you. Hope you're doing well. Maya, too. <laughs> Jeremy can't handle it. Jeremy can't hack it. Oh, shit. Jared. Yo. Hey, 
Jared. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. Looking forward to the podcast tomorrow. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, hope you're digging the music, Cyberpunk. Little Stevie Ray Vaughan covering Jimi Hendrix. Um, I think I like this. Shadow Spear has moments in this matchup, but... Often not great. I'm going to keep it because of Enlightened Tutor here, but it's not great. So we get Forest Play Bird. And then, if needed, tutor. Pun would be an obnoxious. Yeah. Okay, that's a little brutal. Um, and they have both. That I think this is the plan. We play this and we play this, and I don't. They can't waste and kill this without a mox. But we're definitely looking bad this game here. Maybe that was a mull. Okay, they play their own saga. Oh, or a second pun. Okay. Yeah, we're we're in scoop territory soon. They did that correct. That is going to save me a little bit of life here, but it's not great. We're, we're definitely feeling behind here. Gonna be hard to win here. Okay, they they so good as well. Um, I think I plow now. We're behind a significant amount here. And I think I just need to hit like something good. That's not great.
Maybe I should have held off on the soul guide. I think I probably should have. So if they want to pun, that's fine. So now they have to up to blow it. Ooh, that's a weird choice. I feel like I'm like one night of the reliquary away from being like right back in this game. Uh yeah, no. Nah. Negative. Maybe endurance here. Yeah, there it is. All right. They need two to three cards to get rid of that. Well, we're one. We're dead. Bummer. I think it's scoop territory here. Oh, maybe not. That's actually the best top deck here. Now we're like right back in it. This card's really dumb. I think it's super good. Yes, they get to kill it, but now I, I am the monarch. It's hard for them to take that back. You take that back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ice cold milk. Yeah. Yeah, how you like it in Virginia? I hope you're liking it. Yeah. They have a second pun in hand, though, don't they? I'm like a little confused. I thought they had a second pun in hand. Oh, I did. I thought they got it back. I think they have a second one. I could be wrong. I, I thought they were going to double pun. So. Okay, I take four, and then I draw target card. Bad card. Probably just want another fourth here. Yeah, it's just Oblivion Ring, but slightly better. 
some map. Ooh. Gamble. Discard Mox Diamond. Okay. Uh oh. Now we're in big trouble. Um. They can't disenchant it while it's on the stack. Like, while the ability's on the stack, because then the card never comes back. Or they ought not to, I guess is the right word. All right. It's going to be a close one here. Hard to draw my way out of this. Another fourth, maybe, is like my best. Knight is good, but I can't instant speed it. A second saga would be annoying. A stage, maybe, is the card they want. Uh, they got a maze. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think I got it now. They get another map. They sack the map. The swords have been very good. Okay, they get a saga. Okay. I think I'll just hold the plow then. I think I should have done that during the main phase, actually, with the trigger on the stack. Because if they crop rotted, they could have got another construct here. So, no punish. But I'm good.
Oh shit, I got Ben's songs and a quick BRB. Oh, opposite order though. BRB first. The chair stream. All right, there we go. Uh, the song requests. Here we go. Got too caught up in that game. I feel like I might eventually try to do what uh, Strife did to figure out how to get like the MTG bot. To like DJ for you. It's a lot of trust in uh, chat though to like not play anything that would get you in trouble. Man, um, had an ant problem in the house. Uh, so I bought this product and I, it's weird to say, I, I feel like a guilty conscience for like probably killing a bunch of ants. Like literally, like I felt like Oppenheimer, that quote of like, I am death, I am destruction. Oh, you had that issue too. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I dealt with it. The product was like six bucks at like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, but like, I definitely felt guilty doing it because it's not like. I've, I've seen a solution online about like putting cayenne pepper and black pepper in certain places and it, it didn't work. It's like, that's what I wanted to work. Like, I don't want to kill them. I just want them like not here. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll check it out. What do we got? Oh, yeah, the stuff I bought, if you want the name, it was like Tarot, Tarot. It just, it did the trick. I became death and destruction and all the things Oppenheimer says. Fire ants. Oh, shit. Okay. I, 
I don't think they have them where I am. Ghetto superstar, that is what you are. Bowmaster, 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 Bowmaster. The invasive species, yeah. I bet that's an added element, you know. Get out of here, you buggos. Um, top card was Ren. Is that bad enough to shuffle away? I think I'm very desperate for a land, so I am going to fetch. Plow's very good. So we play directly into days. Thank you. May have another. By far my least favorite card. Well, no. By f not. It's up there. It's up there. At least the game keeps on happening. But now they're going to slam a Murktide. And I do have swords. Yeah. I, I think... It this is feeling like a Merc Merc. I have a sword and a sword on top. Yeah. There's Merc. All right. I probably die if I take four here. I just die. Yeah, this deck's dumb. Days is dumb. There was no winning. Okay. Uh, I do have a decent game two matchup here, but Days is a really good card against me. Um, okay. Thanks for that song request. Uh, these are risky.
Well, hear me on this. What if, and I say this nearly every stream, they get rid of Lotus Petal, Ancient Tomb, and Days. Just slow the format down a little bit. Then, then, then we're able to play Punishing Fire. Also, it's EIO cast. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, this is too risky for Delver. And this is, I think, sucks keep. And I, if they mold a six, maybe I'll keep the waste. If they keep seven, I think I put the waste back. Yeah, I hear you, Oz. Maybe you're right, but I think um, my complaint at the moment is every year it's Delver. Every year it's Delver. And maybe that's good. And like, you know, it's like a be careful what you wish for. They should make every deck worse than mine. That's exactly right, Jeremy. Yeah. But even then, like, I don't mind combo decks. I don't, I just don't like turn zero combo decks. That's where like, like the whole, like you're dead before you even start kind of decks, you know? But yeah, it's like, if you think about it, right? Treasure Cruise, Dig Through Time, not Dig Through Time, uh, Treasure Cruise, Ragavan, Deathrite Shaman, Luris, Oko, Ren and Six, uh, maybe I said Ragavan, maybe I didn't, um, DHA, all were like Delver cards that got banned. So it's like, you can kind of like every year, like chop at the deck. Um, oh, EI, that too. Um, or you could do something that chops at the archetype itself. And to me, that's days, but I'm also the person who's trying to like resolve three mana spells all the time. It's like, of course I hate days, you know? But yeah, every year it's Delver. Every month. The only time it hasn't been was like after like when top and dig through time were legal but treasure cruise just got banned and maybe you're right maybe it shouldn't i just know from this perspective it's it's the card i hate the most and uh Maybe it's a good thing that Delver is always, like, kind of the best deck. But it is kind of always the best deck. I think that's not disputable. But maybe it's not a bad thing that it is. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get Bowmastered right here. But it's like every year they just ban another card, you know? It's like, all right, now it's Bowmaster. Well, was Bowmaster too good in Elves? No, it was pretty good in Elves, but it wasn't that good in Elves. You know? It was the Delver deck that got it banned.
Yeah. Like I said, this could be a be careful what you wish for kind of thing, you know? But it it really is blue, red, X tempo. Hey, yes, I do. Consistently, I think my issue is I don't eat a lot of bad food, but I eat a lot of food. So I'm not as trim as I'd like to be, but I am picking up iron. <laughs> You're funny, kind apple. But yeah, I, I would like to see something structural change that makes Tempo not always, like, a top contender. And it, it could be as simple as just, like... But, like, it's like every good card that comes out is better in Delver than all the other decks. It's not like, you know... If control is like kicking everyone's ass with bowmasters, it it actually. But then maybe I take that back a little bit. The bean card might be a change. Hey, thank you. I try. One thing I've learned is growing up when I was like a teenager and in my early twenties, I just like steadily flexed. All day, every day. Oh, you. If something good happens, maybe I'll flex. But I'm feeling like a... Uh, a scrawny... Man against this uh, annoying deck here. Um, best draw here might just be a saga. That's actually pretty good, though. Yo, you said you were running hills on the podcast. Are you uh you hitting the iron too, or are you just cardio or what? Were you like an athlete in high school or something, college? Mm hmm. Dad's home. I feel like they might have another Bowmaster.
It's very aggressive to plow this. I think if they bolt this, I just live with it. That means one less bolt for Nighty here. Alright, cool. Saga. I think I get aggressive. I don't love playing a 2 2 knight, but I think it's acceptable here. Maybe two times a week. Okay, well, that's good. I think um, the older I get, the more I value cardio. Sometimes, if I don't, like, work out enough, it literally feels like I can't sleep because I'm, like, too heavy. Being lean is good. I'm I'm like two oh five, two ten right now, and I can tell you it's heavier than I should be for a guy who's like five eleven. I could pick up a lot of weight, but it's harder on my heart, harder on my lungs, harder on everything. That's because you're so darn active, though, and you're you're young too, comparatively. You know, I know young is a perspective, but young to who, you know? But Do I play in the days here? Hey. Uh, nothing too spicy. That might my usual. Um, just Saga Maverick. Trying uh, one different card in the sideboard at the moment. Trying to play it super safe here. Bit of a punish. Man, this is really whack. Okay, that that's very fortuitous though. Okay, I, di I didn't think that would work. Holy shit.
I die if they have removal for endurance here. If I tap the halfling. So I guess I don't. Now I could live a turn. All right. I... I think I have to change this deck a little bit to keep up with that. I'm 24, and I get full from a single slice of pizza. Oh, boy. That... I work out a significant amount, but then I think I just eat the calories right back. So I think, like, I'm building muscle, but I'm not as lean as I would like to be. I feel like... um if there's like a sport you like or something, you know, I don't know what's going on, you know, in your life, but if you could find something, a physical activity, I'll bet you you'll be a three to four slice guy right after. And, you know, that's if your health is good and everything. Hey, Echo. But like calories in, calories out. Huge thing. I also, um, I uh, wonder if you could relate to this, uh, so when I go to the gym, I, uh, what's the word? I will try to find a song for like a, a personal record, a PR, and sometimes I wonder if it's like going to be the theme song to like tearing a muscle and going to the hospital, you know, um, sometimes you just like, if you're ever driving and you get into like a car accident, like the song that was on at the time becomes like theme music to your like potential life threatening situation. And sometimes I get morbid to think about things like that. <laughs> All right. Facts. All right. That was a cool um throwback, the Maya one. I hadn't heard that song in years. Yeah. One time my brother was uh, driving and he was like maybe 17 at the time. And uh, it was his first car. And uh, I remember he was like speeding a good amount and he wasn't paying attention to the radio. So I put on uh, Baby Got Back by Sir Mix a lot. <laughs> I just remember he's like weaving in and out of traffic. Like, you should not do that. And you just hear, like, don't want none unless you got fun, son. <laughs> like, I just remember thinking at the time, like, what if we get into a car accident and that's like the last words that we hear? Oh. Thank you. Did I miss? I missed one. Thank you. I didn't realize. All right, let's pause it. You got another stream coming up soon, Ben? You gonna profile? Like to me, profile does not mean what that game says it means. Saturdays, all right. 
Opponent mold the five. Yeah. Defense grid. Um, I guess we just wham that, huh? It's probably a Tony deck. They're so low uh, on lands. Okay, good. Probably should just turn knight sideways here, face down in defense mode. All right, waste is seven, ten, eleven. Okay. Cool. All right. It is a defense grid deck. I shall bring in these cards. Probably the collector oof. Yeah, gotta be Teague, huh? Maybe I keep Boo. Mm, I think I like fourth better because it's three mana. Maybe it's a Needle. Like it's this could be like Tony dot deck. Yeah, let's let's go real safe here. Let's just assume they're ultra glass cannon. I I, I bet you they are if they're running that uh, defense grid. Oh fuck! All right, uh, hyper geometric calculator. Okay. Don't keep it? Okay. I want to mathematically prove it, though. I think you're right. So there's 53 cards. I have a total of 3, 7, 9, 10, 11. Ooh, only 11... Well, no, no, no. It's green sources. So, seven... T seven... Nine... Eleven... Twelve. Thirteen. I have thirteen green size... Uh, green... We're gonna draw two cards. And there's thirteen successes. And we want at least one green. It's a 43% chance, which means a 43% chance we lose, i.e. listen to Ben. All right, we keep it. Thanks for that. And sorry if I missed the song request, but thanks for reminding me.
It does feel good to be a gangster, I gotta say. Doesn't matter dead anyway. Oh, I put the pithing needle back. That sucks. Oh my gosh. I put the pithing needle on the bottom. Damn. You like Rod? Yeah, I think Rod's better. Oh, man, I hate this. I'm surprised they didn't do more shit. This is this is a good one here. Got to admit, it it does feel pretty good to be a gangster. Uh, keep sacrifice unless you discard a card. All right, I actually have to comprehend what I, what this does. Oh boy. That that might get him back into it. That's legitimate. Yeah. Uh I might have to draw something. That's not it. It is not a legendary. Got to say being a gangster felt better. Last turn. Oh, last turn, things felt much better. Okay. 
Okay, they destroy that. Okay. We're at six. I think I get the arbor. Oh boy, that was a draw and two thirds. Holy smokes. Um, I can't attack because they just played that. Okay. That felt good. I think I got it. It think it seems like. With Enlightened Tutor, I have much better game against combo, but I'm losing to Delver again. That was really cool. All right, they play a Saga. I think I still have Lethal, though. Another one ring. A cram. Ensnaring bridge, but I think. Yeah, so like they buy a turn here. They buy two turns. Okay. That's legitimate. I'm going to play it. They might win. I don't have any puns. Um, Oblivion Ring, Haywire Might. Um, Green Sun doesn't really do it because Liberator's in the yard. Oh, no might, you're right. They have to be able to play the cards, though. The other way that I get out of this is they're stuck with three cards in their hand. Or four cards, because the... Yeah, I, I can't attack with my constructs. It's like I need 
Oblivion Ring only, I guess. Okay, what does that do? Yeah, that's an interesting line. Does night do anything? Yeah, I like it. Oh. Yeah, I can. Yo, XJ Cloud. <laughs> I could even play Gattachy here. That's interesting. I could bounce that bad boy and then attack the Karn. Or I could get a Noble and get in for three and kill the Karn. I don't have a no. Oh, I do it right there. Holy shit. No, Noble's two. It'd be two. It wouldn't quite kill the coin. Oh, boy. Teague stops Lattice. They're, they could make the construct here. Maybe I just go face. So they're likely going to make the construct. Oh. No, I just sent a message. I didn't have Noble. <laughs> Alright. That wasn't too good, but, but it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> I realized uh, they could have made the construct, so I couldn't really attack. Needle on Wasteland or Caracas here, maybe? An Outland Liberator, okay. I think I... Okay, they do have a another thing. One ring and something else is in hand. So I get to attack them for three here. They could animate something as a blocker, like Mystic Forge maybe. Wow. I don't think it was quite over, but I get it. I think they can plus on, say, Mystic Forge, and then we're still at the draw stage. But cool. XJ with the line.
Good to see you. Yeah. I wonder if I would have attacked with the Dryad Arbor, would they have made the construct? Because then they take two, but then my Arbor's dead. Attacking with Birds of Paradise was definitely not the line. I got them all this. We keep it, but it's badge. Oh, an underground sea. But ball therapy. All right, cool. They cabal therapy themselves. It's dredge. That's so cool. Days, Force of Will, Thug. I think we play the Saga. Try to get our Soul Guide out ASAP. They whiff. They don't whiff, but... They could surveil three, okay. Well that, I'm guessing they just Cabal Therapy now and hit the plow. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, they don't know your hand, you're right. You're right. That's true. I'm wondering what they're going to name. Probably something like... They probably think I'm an Ancient Tomb deck, would be my guess. Unless they're, like, looking me up. They named Mox Opal. I mean, that's not a bad name. Um... I'm confused. Is why is where did the Glagari thug go? Does it get shuffled back in or something? Is that like a part oh, it goes to the top of their deck. It's like a Glagari thug thing. Um, right, they have force and days. I think I'm happy with them dealing with that and being able to land night later. Plowing a 2-2 two -two just doesn't feel good. They opt not to. Okay, so it's days, force, and now a Glagari thug. Oh, but they do that. That's so cool. This deck is sweet. I respect it. Hmm. I think it's okay to take four here. Knight is a 3-3 three, three here. I think I'm fine to play it. Knight, 
Now, I'm all about pay eight. Um, just, I think I want my lands. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I just want to make sure I'm hitting my land drops here. Also, the waste was tempting and the fetch. But I think I'm so far ahead because of the Soul Guide Lantern. I think I want to shuffle here. Cool. All right, I think I got it. Soul Guide Lantern was super good. Maybe. I don't think it's an LED deck. Force of Will and LED don't really go together. I could be talked out of carpet pretty easily. Probably don't really need the boo. I don't think I could ever cut Sylvan unless it's like actually burn. This is uh, no bueno. Yes, it's Sylvan. EE is like very good if they have an explosive turn. I really didn't want to put the Sylvan back, but I think it's the smarter. I have like a lot of things to do with my mana early. That's actually a pretty good draw. Um, I think I can opt for a turn to Saga now pretty easily. A little bit of a tough call. I may need a waste here. See if they have it. If they put a dredger in the yard, that's going to change my thought. No dredger probably means no waste. But that's so close. That's going to be... I think it has to be waste now. And there's dredgers, yeah. So absolutely on the waste, I think. Yeah. Oh, boy. And I, I could just... Saga Knight into the craziest dredge turn ever.
I think we have to do it. I'm going to play this around Cabal Therapy. Next turn, I have um, the potential to bog here. And the EE might be able to just deal with all the uh, zombie potential this turn before I get the bog in the play. So. He's been okay. If they kill Knight, I can still Zenith for Endurance. Don't think I care a lot about that. They they do it to themselves. Okay. Alright. Uh I win the game. Yeah. Cool. Three and one. Feeling pretty good here. Um, listen to Delver, or yeah, I guess you'll call it Delver. I feel better against, uh, the Death Shadow version. Just Grixis Delver with this configuration doesn't feel great. Um, only having like two to three sideboard cards. And really like two good side... Eh, three good sideboard cards, I'd say. Uh, Carpet, Choke, and I think Bog is like arguably good. And then Oblivion Ring is just Oblivion Ring. Oh boy. Um hopefully we get paired. I almost hope we get paired against something unfair to be honest. It sounds weird saying it. Control's a little tough. Especially like the bean control. I just don't even totally understand how to like sideboard against it at the moment. But pretty happy so far with this league. Initiative has been really tough, too. I could see trimming, like, two sideboard E-Tutor cards at this point just for two blasts, maybe. That might be the right move. Just, like, two blasts and an Enlightened Tutor package or something. Still a very blue meta. No diggity. About to bag it up. About 
to bag it up. All right, on the play, that's good. Last scene on an 80 card deck. Esper Vile ish. Yeah, not Esper Vile. That looks really good with Bowmaster, huh? Uh, yeah. Four Wastelands makes me want to consider leading with this just to stay safe. Really want to protect the white land. Definitely going to kill that vial. I will attack for one, though. Yeah. Deck is very cool. So, if Bird lives and there's no Wastelands here, I might just throw Boo. Hey, thank you. I didn't mean to have uh, the bleep version. I have, growing up, I had no idea what the hell this song meant. Ooh, that's tricky now. Okay. This is tough. I don't want to think about this forever. I don't like this play, but I'm doing it. I really don't like just throwing Wastelands out there like that, but their deck is going to go endgame much better than mine, I think. Unless I get Pun in play. Alright. They, I think I am clearly the beat down here. Hopefully they play something I want to plow. Worst case is that ETB destroy an enchantment card, probably. That's pretty rough too, though. Yeah. So, not happy. Pretty rough. Major tempo setback here. Um. Yeah, we're in trubs. Don't think I'm in a rush. But I, I think they're turning the corner at this point. And throwing this out there is tempting. But 
you gotta think they have a force of will and that's also gonna maybe i played this too early Oh, okay. That's a big problem. Oh. They're going to get so much value here. I think I'm still forced to do this. Do they force it? I hope they do. If they force it, I think I might pull ahead here. Okay, they do. And they pitch a... Uh, Vala, okay. So that was because they, if they blink the recruiter, it's just, it's over. I'm thinking it's over anyway, but it's like super over if they do that. Uh, they could blink the Bowmaster. So. Nice try. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and they're going to keep this up. Yeah, we're... We're dead. I think the only possible out here is like my own Caracas, maybe? Pun would have been good. It might be better to scoop here, to be honest. I could try. But it's definitely futile here. Yeah, you know what? I'm scooping. It's... Yeah. I think maybe I should have just jammed the boo when I had the chance. Oh, that actually seems really good here. Don't need the graveyard hate.
Maybe. There's definitely some friendly fire here. Hey, Dougal. Yo, good to see you. Playing against Aether Vile here. Looking pretty sus. Um, I don't have any red blasts. And uh, Teferi and those kind of cards are really tough to deal with uh, without red. Uh, this hand is excelente. Um, they do play Wasteland. I may do a turn to fourth, depending on what I see. Hopefully they just plow. Okay, good. I just don't even want to think about it. So we play this. We go, okay. We say, yes, please. May I have another? Let me drop that. Prismatic ending? Yeah. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, this is likely a take eight kind of sitch. Uh, maybe just four. Oh, very good draw, too. And they missed their land drop. That's probably it, right? Yeah. Oh. So, game one was interesting. Game two, they kept the one lander for some reason. I think EE is a losing strategy. Three mana to kill a vial isn't great. Kill two vials, yeah, but just one vial doesn't feel great. Plus, like, possibly one of my cards. I have to mull here. Or I get to mull. As my friends would say, I am given the privilege to not have to keep this atrocious hand. Um, This sucks, but I keep it. No, this doesn't suck, actually. This is good. I'm definitely kind of weak to a vial here. Um, would not want to draw much more land here, but the pun and friends are very welcome. Like, land isn't terrible.
Yes, yes. This card is corny as shit. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. But I, I definitely feel that way. Oh, man. Uh... T3F? Oh, Leo. Okay. Not happy here, but I, I am forced into this. Yeah, it's a very strong card for sure, but yeah. All right, Beanstalk. Um, I think I'll do an end of turn fetch here. I just, I have a million lands. Get the plat. Uh, choke is probably the best draw. Green sun is good. Yeah. The question for me is, is it Outland Liberator here? Or is it just night? Like I feel like I kind of had the late game a little bit here. I, I am thinking they have some sort of removal. Prismatic ending, something. So that's why I opted for this. I don't know if I'd hit Vile or Beanstalk, to be honest. Okay. Am I really going to flip this card? Yeah, it's tough. I think I do it. They could plow it into turn two. Yeah. I do have some cool shit that I could do. I bet you they plow this, though. Which might be a win either way, but it's just, you know, they have five in hand, so.
I canoe it. I think I chose right. The Beanstalk card's good, but Vile's so good. Yeah, I'm definitely, you know, they have five in hand, and this is still an option. You could just put that in their hand at this point. I don't know if I'm favored late game, to be honest. I also don't have any more endurances to shuffle this back in. It's come up a few times this league, only having one Green Sun Zenithable disenchant. I'll see. Theoretically, it's come up. I should restate that. Daga's welcome. Green, white, other. The fact that they didn't put the companion in hand makes me wonder what's going on. Solitude. Okay. All right. I think I still have to shoot the recruiter of the guard just because of the potential. And if they have something like a surgical... It ain't what it's not. Um, Grove is solid here, too. So we're pretty resilient to that kind of play. Five in hand. This is a bow master, right? Okay. I think I still take the slow game here. Another bow? Probably, right? No? Okay. Just play it around. 
some cheese, I guess. Perhaps the mite. I think we attack for three and then we're going to down tick that. I feel like they have a force of will. So we kill this. We go green, green, colorless, this. We down tick, I suppose. Um land or banishing light that's interesting did i play land this turn banishing light kind of sucks I, man, I really think I just want to keep hitting the land drops. I could pause on this for a second. I'm going to take the land. Okay. We're in a little bit of trouble here now. Gotta do a little bit of math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, pun get back. Um, yeah, I think we just, I think we're all in on that plan. They're gonna draw two cards here with the beanstalk. Um, and the Orion, but it is what it is, right? Force of Negation would be the scariest card, I suppose. Maybe I should have taken the Banishing Light. It's so good with... All this mana is really good, though. Okay. Uh, 
Gonna be a lot of cards. Not sure why they're doing that. Um, they could have a surgical. I'm going to play around it. Oh, boy. All right. Red. That's a force of will if I've ever seen one. Uh oh. Well. Neat. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they boarded no force of wills? Yeah, thank you, thank you. That was a cool deck, though. I, I, it, um, definitely respect that deck. Hard to play too. So, um, I think JTSL. I think that's the player who I think crushed with that deck uh, a few years ago. It, um, they, they may still be active. Really cool. Um, all right, that's gonna be me. Um, so tomorrow I'm recording for a podcast. Um, Romario, Eureka, and Geodude Jared, Legacy Small Talk. Um, I'm recording, I think they post every Saturday, I think. Hey, my pleasure. Happy to do it. Really enjoy this. Um, a 4-1, too. That, that feels pretty good. One loss to Delver. I think the next time I play this, I might just play two Rebs to try to sure up the uh, Delver matchup. Because I'm losing more of those games than I want to admit. Um... All right, let's raid a uh, PT bench. Just gonna double check, make sure there's like not any real small streamer I could get. I like PT bench, um, but you know, I at least try to get the young upstarts here. Um, no, just them. Yeah, great seeing you, Carador. Thanks for stopping by. Keep playing fair, uh, Carador. Um, all right, Raiden PT bench. Uh, great seeing everybody. Um, I'm gonna upload a video or two to YouTube before the end of the night. Um, yeah. Thanks again for stopping by.